This is the water bowl. You will need a mouse pad, a Tibetan dragon bowl, and some water. Pour the water in the bowl. Stop pouring the water when the water level reaches the inner rim of the bowl. Place your hands in the bowl to ensure that your hands become slightly wet. Place your hands on the handle of the bowl. Apply light pressure and create a forward-backward motion. The bowl will begin to vibrate, forcing the water to jump. In this scene, you can hear the vibrations and see the effects of resonance. Resonance is defined as the condition in which an object or system is subjected to an oscillating force causing the object or system to vibrate. The result of vibration is constructive and destructive waves. Where there are constructive waves, the water jumps. This is because the waves are in sync with each other, causing an increase in amplitude. Where you see no spikes in the water, this is where the destructive waves occur. Destructive waves happen because the waves hit each other at just the right frequency, therefore canceling each other out. When you grab the bowl at the constructive spots, the water stops jumping because the bowl stops vibrating. So when you grab the bowl at the destructive points, the water continues to vibrate. This is because the bowl does not vibrate at the destructive points.